Hello, my innovative family. Welcome back to another innovative, creative, excited video in Photoshop. So today I have a nice new concept for you, a nice Photoshop hack. I'll be creating a chrome effect. All right, guys. So this is something that you can learn to do on your own without getting pictures of chrome things on the internet you know you can create your own chrome word and put it into images and put it in your artwork and let it look popping and nice all right so just follow each of these steps it is very important that you follow the steps and then you can play along with it as you go along but following the steps knowing the concept will help you to create this chrome effect all right so let's get started um, I have my canvas already. You can make a canvas whatever size you want. Right? So I click my text tool. And because we're creating a chrome effect, to make it more specific, I'm going to use the word chrome. Right? Let's put all of that for now in black. Right? Okay. So now we're going to add the wonderful blends and what any filters and remember blends and filters guys we have to remember these in photoshop these are good hacks to help bring life to your artwork okay all right so for this we're going to add, add a we're going to add a gradient for this right so let's go right here let's go to gradient overlay right and we want something like this we want like a black and white or a light gray to a lighter dark right so right here you choose this you choose a darker color right not too dark about there and then for the other part you choose a lighter color right so you want something like that perfect that is perfect so you you blend the colors all you want but make sure it's black to gray or black and slightly white you don't want it too black you don't want it too white you just want a blend of black and white or gray just like this all right okay so here comes the fun part let's go to some blends so we're going to go back here and we're going to add a bevel and emboss so for now guys i'm going to leave it on this one the first one right here which is the linear one let's leave it at that one for now all right so we're going to click okay for that all right so this part is going to start bringing the chrome effect alive so we're going to go um we're going to go right here now to create a new filler adjustment layer and then we're going to go to our curves. Bet you guys didn't know that curves had this effect. So let's create two points. So you create the points, you click, that's one point. And then you go up to the other point like this and you click. So we have our output and our input, right? Okay. So for the output part, we're going to go up like this with the curve. Right? Fix it there. And then for the input part, we're going to come down like this. Look at that, guys look at that guys you see the effect start to come along and you know this is how i'm going to leave mine for now but as i say look you guys can you know go across fix it how you want see like that you can come in like that you can go out like that you know you can play with it you know anything that is comfortable for you yes i'll leave it at that go back to layers all right so we have a nice curve um right there that is giving it a wonderful chrome effect so here what we're going to do we're going to duplicate this curve so in order to do that we're going to take this hold down your right click and you're going to drag it to the new layer so that it duplicates it see that it's duplicated right here so now we have two of them so you see it gives it a it bring it's bringing out more chrome effect in it so now we have if i turn this off like that you see 
and then go like that. and if you want you could go on the second curve and if you want you can see you can still play around with it like that if you want you can do that you can do that you can come up here go over there go down there you know you can just work with it however you're comfortable all right so there we go okay with this now again we're gonna go back into our blends to the bevel and emboss section so we're gonna go here bevel and emboss and look at this now you can choose whatever one you like but you don't want to choose something oh sorry i think i'm on the wrong layer yes i was on the curve it's important that you click the word chrome okay so again we click the word chrome and we're going to go back here bevel and emboss and as i say right here i choose the linear one for now initially so look at this now look at this see you can choose these other ones you can look at them to give it a better chrome effect see you have so many choice but this these two i'm toggling with but this is the one i'm going to use for now all right and look what else you can do now to add a even deeper more natural chrome effect we can increase the depth the size and play around look at this you see you see that i see i see if you carry it right down it takes away that little those little edgings that give it the chrome effect you carry it up you see you start to see it now look at this if i increase the size look at that see that yes yes look at that love it now we're getting a nice chrome effect but guys with the size you don't even have to trouble this if you don't want to but as i said they are there for you to to experience and play around with you see if you want it to have that black chrome look you see the softness can carry it down there so i'll, I'll carry it mine just a little but the size you don't want to make it too big it's, look at this it will just lose all the effect and you know it won't look as nice and natural you want it to really look chromey like that look at that yes i like that one okay you can use you can use your direction if you want look at that up down up either way you think looks you know more chromey for you so there's so much little things here that you can play with you know and there we go we have that wonderful chrome effect now to set this in a way that it brings out the chrome effect even more nearly to like a hundred percent because you know we're not perfect probably 99.9 percent .9%. look at what we're going to do now we're going to give it a nice black background so you can choose your shape here sir keep it at a rectangular shape and just come up the top here and draw a black background there but you draw it below the word oh look at that i almost feel like crying and to bring it out more guys you can pick your let's go to our crop tool and just crop it and let it you know give it let it be the star of the show Ooh, look at that that's what you call a chrome effect look at that beautiful all right guys this is a nice photoshop hack for you to use and it's a good way to learn how to use the blends and in my previous video where i did the the diamond and the blings you know those are other ways to use filters plus blends you know good photoshop hack so guys if you want more interested and innovative videos like this please like share subscribe comment tell me which which video you want me to make for you and i will make the effort to do that just for you whatever it is you want to learn in photoshop i'll i'll help you to do so until i move on to other areas in it web you know web design programming etc but for now we're dealing with photoshop so like share subscribe drop a comment let me know what you think of the video and tell me if you want me to do any video for you as i go along thank you guys